Good morning YouTube and welcome to Fifth Third Field, home of the Dayton Dragons minor league baseball team. I've did several videos from here before, but now that the Dragons season ended, I am gonna I am gonna make a video just to show you guys why sports will not revive an economy in, a, in, in the downtown of a city like Dayton, Toledo, Cleveland, or Detroit. Now here is what you people have, have to understand, okay? I am a huge sports nut myself, however, but when you consider you know, that this season for a minor league baseball team, it only lasts for five months, okay? So there's seven months out of the year that this beautiful stadium is vacant. And as far as competing with any kind of concert venues or anything like that, well, there's so many of them. And you got bigger cities around them. Dayton that have much better things for concert venues, so it's really hard to compete with here. They're always trying to build something new to try and get some kind of band to come here, but I, but I want you guys to, to check out, you know, the amount of time that this field is occupied during baseball season. A worker down here probably just doing some end of season maintenance work right here in general they're probably will not about the only people here today will be the people that are doing some maintenance and the players that are coming home to get their stuff and then head home to wherever they live but I want you guys to consider this I I looked at the Dayton Dragons schedule before I made this video this morning as I as I was uploading my ones from Woodland Cemetery that I just uploaded this morning. They only occupy this field on average 12 to 16 days a month. So when you consider that the field is vacant for seven months out of the year from September through March Okay, and you added another on average of 14 days or two weeks a month, whatever you want to call it. That's another two and a half months. So you have seven plus two and a half, nine and a half months out of the year that this place is actually vacant. So how is that actually helping the economy, YouTube? of a city like Dayton or any city and I and, and you know and, and you know as I've said I love sports and all that good stuff but that's not gonna help things it's the same thing with you know and it's the same thing in a dying city you know like like you know let's let's use Detroit for example okay they want everything to move downtown same thing as Dayton Toledo and all these other Rust Belt cities Consider since the Detroit Lions moved downtown, sure, they probably tried to open a few, you know, restaurants and bars down there and so forth, but the Lions, for example, only play, the football season for the NFL is only four or, four or five months long, 16 weeks, and if, and if a team is good enough to make the playoffs, potentially another three weeks. And so out of those 16 games... Only eight of those are home games. So what other reason do people have to come downtown for in a dump or a dying city like Dayton or Detroit just for sports or, or, or overall entertainment? So that goes to prove, YouTube, that the sports will not sustain an economy. And you got to understand, there is a huge gap where these facilities do not make any money and that is a huge gap and that is the problem with taxpayers funding this type of stuff you know it just will not work 
But anyway, YouTube, you know, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to sign off here. But I just wanted to, you know, get this video in, you know, make this point. And I think it's a very logical point. And I think, when, as I said, when you consider seven months, you know, time off and two and a half months of, of the season, they're not even here. That's really not a very wise investment that will revive a city. Sorry, but that's just the truth, YouTube. Feel free to, you know, comment on this, start the discussion on this. I just don't know what else they could really do with this to really make it viable throughout the year besides outdoor concerts or something, but there's so many places that have concerts already. So, see, see you next season, Dayton Dragons, signing off.